we are going to discuss cycle counting now see we have seen the physical counting we have the physical counting in which we have the functions like we are creating the physical inventory at any point of time if you want to count the if you want to count some items which are existing physically in the store the same stock should be available in the system any deviation any deviation from the physical quantity exists in system means physically if you could see 100 items the same 100 items should be there in the system in case system is showing 1000 and physically we are having the items as 100 then there is no meaning because system always project the physical quantity itself the real situation should be there in the system at any point of time okay now whenever you are creating the physical inventory you are concerned about what are the sub inventories in the inventory you are going to consider whenever you are creating the physical inventory that physical inventory representing the physical store the store might be having different sub inventories or you are considering only one sub inventory or multiple sub inventories some specific sub inventories one or two so if you see the physical inventory yesterday we created something right let us see whenever you are able to see the physical inventory that is there yesterday we created this open When you open, see here you can see all sub inventories or specific sub inventory. In case you want to consider only two sub inventories, you can select first sub inventory and second sub inventory, and third, fourth, like that. If you all, then you have to select all. Yesterday we did for all. Then we have set up the tolerance. Of course, we have taken always it is required approval whenever there is a discrepancy so always it has to be approved to launch the adjustments after getting the approval you are launching the adjustments by from tools you are going to here then launch adjustments then after passing the adjustments then what happens it is asking the account number that account number is having whether positive effect or negative effect both how if you are reducing the quantity in the system physically you are having thousand and system showing hundred that means you want to increase from hundred to thousand that means 900 900 quantities have been increased 900 multiplied by unit cost of the item that much value you increased in the system that means you are what are the account you are giving that account is going to have negative impact why you are increasing the system quantity means you are increasing the inventory value right inventory value is tracked by inventory material account that means positive effect is going to inventory material account the same value will be having a negative impact in the account that you give manually in the while launching the adjustments so that's what we have seen yesterday after that you will run the adjustment report and you can see what adjustments you have done right then Today we are going to discuss countings in which cycle counting the cycle count again you have here cycle counts manual request cycle count entries and approve counts before going to cycle count we have to discuss some important topic that is ABC analysis what is ABC analysis let us see see here counting certain items counting itself is meant for counting the different items when you are counting not all the items are as important as some particular items why let us say if you are into manufacturing and we have used machineries and we have maintenance work and some breakdowns happens you know for any machine at any point of time 
at the same time as a part of you know manufacturing raw materials are there sub assemblies are there and you are assembling all the sub assemblies and you are making a finished good in this process certain items are very important certain items are to be maintained with certain quantities and always you have to make sure that quantity is correct why because if you get a problem with that item and entire manufacturing will be stopped so you are going to separate the items you know you want to segregate you want to classify the items which are very important which are least important which are medium which are having medium importance that means highly important items if you take for a manufacturing industry if you take your industry is let us take automotive industry in which cars are manufactured we have tires bearings clutch engine spare parts spark plugs you know lights infrastructure stereo system everything is there so without some of the items basically you cannot manufacture an item so what is that engine engine you are giving the importance why it is high valued because the costliest item in the car is engine if you are giving the importance to the value then engine is the engine is the item sub assembly or any raw material if you take raw material like spark plug spark plug we have gear box in which we have gears clutch we have engine oil oil seals okay so we have different cans pistons crankshaft cylinder we have different raw materials in the engine and we have sub assemblies like engine clutch assembly steering assembly brake assembly then chassis body stereo system infrastructure we have everything you know every one every item is a particular raw material or it can be a raw material or it can be a sub assembly whatever it may be we have certain you know particular importance we are giving importance to certain items why you are giving importance to the different items correct now if you are going for cycle counting the name itself is indicating cycle means repeated you are going to count repeatedly in regular intervals physical inventory one time whenever you want to count at one time you want to count it yes you can count at any point of time you can take a decision saying that i want to count yes you can count but the same count counting procedure you want to repeat in regular intervals means what are the items you are maintaining in your store room always should be accurate with respect to system system is showing something else then it will be problematic for us why because you give false promise or otherwise production people will request something and you will think that items are existing in the inventory so basically what happens if the that quantity is correct incorrect then what happens system is showing the quantity but when you go to physical quantity when you go to physical inventory physical store then there is no item at all so that problem you, you know that kind of problem you know such kind of problems you will be facing so in order to avoid such problems you have to do counting that is the importance of counting when you do when you do the counting you will not be counting all the items so whenever you are counting only important items i want to count or you take a decision saying that very highly important items should be counted more number of times per year let us say for one year i want to count important items 12 times means what monthly ones or 48 times that means weekly ones for one month four weeks so 12 12 months so we have 48 weeks 
I want to count certain items 48 times per year. What does it mean? It means weekly once. Okay. Now, medium importance. Then I want to count only 12 times. That means monthly once. Least importance. You know, that I will count half yearly. Means twice per year. Means what? Half yearly. Half yearly, you will count those items once only. Means for every six months, you will be counting those items one time. This is how we are going to decide what are the items. What are the items are very important, medium importance or least importance. That's how we are going to decide. Once you, once you take the decision, what items coming under what class. Let us say high importance, I would say A class. Medium, then B class. Least importance, then C class. So I will not count A class items yearly once because it is very important. So I will count more number of times, at least weekly once or monthly once. That means if you take monthly once, that means 12 times we have to count A class items per year. Means what? For every month you have to count at least two once so medium you want to count it for six times per year means what for every two months once for least importance items I want to count it quarterly means what for every three months you will count once that means four times you will count per year so it's very important on based on what criteria you are going to decide the item is important or medium importance or least importance item. So you are giving least importance to that or medium importance or highly importance. If it is important, then you go for more number of times. If it is least, you are least bothered. So you will count only least number of times. That means whenever you are going for cyclic count, Repeated activity in regular intervals means you should know what item you are considering and what class that item should come under one particular class. Is it A class or B class or C class? Classifying the items based on the importance or value based on the transaction history and whenever you feel based on some importance, you are, you are classifying the items into A class, B class and C class. This analysis is called ABC analysis or ABC classification. It's very important. What is ABC analysis? Very important question. ABC analysis is the is nothing but a classification of items that are existing in the organization based on some criteria. That criteria can be highly valued, high value items are important for you, or low value items, least importance for you. Sometimes what happens? Even though item is having low value, you give high importance. Why? Let us take for example, gearbox is there and bearing is there. Most of the times, if you go to any production industry, manufacturing industry, in the production, we have machinery in which we have gear, gearbox. And sometimes, you know, most of the maintenance breakdowns happens at the bearing. Why? Wear and tear will be more at bearings only. And gearbox yearly you may get once problem but bearing problem you will be getting weekly or every day you use to get bearing problem that means it is very important for you if you give the importance to the transaction history how many number of items you have used in a month bearings and gearbox gearbox zero you bought it you didn't use you know new you didn't replace any old gearbox but bearings Within a week or within within a day, so many times, you know, at somewhere, wherever the wear and tear is there, there is a motion, you know, so dynamic, kinematic, you know, some from gearbox, the motion will be, you know, the uh, energy will be transferred from kinetic energy will be transferred from gearbox to rod and that rod to machine. So like that, we have whenever you are transferring the energy by using the rods connecting to the gearboxes, then you have to use the power block and within the power block, we will be having bearings. So bearings should be lubricated. Otherwise, what happens if you are not doing the uh, uh, correct maintenance, then what happens? You should have the correct maintenance or otherwise enough maintenance, you know, 
you should take care of maintaining all the machinery in regular intervals like weekly twice or daily before shutting the machine you have to see lubrication is there or not if not wear and tear will be more and bearings will be damaged that means if you take gearbox and bearing i should maintain more number of bearings in the store when compared to gearbox so i have to count more number of times for bearings not for gearboxes because you will get the damage you know you will get very less number of times you get a breakdown in gearboxes but whereas bearings always daily almost daily you have to maintain bearings lubrication otherwise you will get the breakdown that means if you take even the value of gearbox is some thousands thousands of dollars in case if you go for bearing it is hundreds of dollars or some tens but it is very important so that is how based on the criteria how many number of times how much quantity you have used in a particular day or in a, in a week or in a month the item which is having more number of transactions will be treated as highly important important items so it depends upon the transaction history it's not only value okay that's what very important so let us see how we are going to classify the items and after that after classifying how we are going to assign the items in each classification and how we are going to take a decision to count how many times per year that's what you are going to see and after that how to initiate the cycle count how to enter the physical quantity into the system because you are counting right almost system gives the results saying that this is the quantity as per system for certain item but you have to make sure for that item physically the same quantity is existing in the inventory in case it is not existing you have to correct in the system right whenever you are correcting either you are increasing or decreasing so there is a value adjustment that value adjustment will go to one particular account where you are giving the account number these are all the things we have to observe now okay let us go into the system now listen carefully it's very important very important class very confusing you know it's very difficult to understand cycle count so after having this class you have to listen at least twice the same class again and again then practice first listen twice you have to listen first don't start practicing listen two times then you practice okay now first i have to go for abc analysis for doing the abc analysis i have to go to abc codes okay i have to go to abc codes then when i go for abc codes i can see some functions in the abc codes what are those functions abc compiles abc classes abc assignment groups assign items update item assignments so this is the navigation navigation is very simple inventory then abc codes abc compiles we have to create first then abc classes we have to define then we are going to create abc assignment groups then assign the items to the particular groups so it is all in the sequence we have to whatever you assign if you want to update again you can update item assignments at any point of time simply listen carefully it's very important and it's very confusing if you understand cycle counting you know it's very important most of the people they neglect but in every interview they will ask you have you worked on cycle counting then they will ask the questions abc analysis what is abc code what is the some of the reports are very important reports are very important so let us see first i open the abc compile i want to create existing compile i can see but i want to create if you want to see existing f11 control f11 that's it we'll get all these are all compiles we did for this client so i want to create new so after pairing also you can go for new you can click on new record so you will get it so record the new record has come i have to give a compile name 
as we did for cycle count or physical count you have given a name right similarly you are going to give the compile name what is the compile name let us say okay now okay here content scope the scope is is it organization or particular sub inventory if it is particular sub inventory you have to select sub inventory and you have to select one sub inventory only if it is organization all the sub inventories will be considered so abc compile we are going to do what it does let us see what it does you will come to know exactly after once i execute this once i compile this you will come to know for what it meant for so here it is saying here it is saying content scope is organization level or sub inventory level if you select sub inventory it will ask you what sub inventory if it is organization all the sub inventories if you want to see one sub inventory let me take one sub inventory okay i want to select fancy good sub inventory okay now valuation scope what is valuation it's nothing but every item will be having a cost you know every item will be having a cost what is the cost with what price you purchased or with what price you purchase the raw materials and those raw materials you have you have assembled to get the finished good and that finished good cost is nothing but summation of all the costs of raw materials plus some labor you might have expensed out right you use the resource who has who is who is nothing but technician so you are paying the salary organization is paying the salary to technician what is the salary so based on that if he works for one hour how much should i charge labor charge that should be coming as a should be coming as a resource cost that is called overhead cost or resource cost or material cost material cost means with what price you purchase the item raw material that is material cost so all together so this is valuation so it, it takes system takes automatically valuation at organization level we are taking now here compile specification it's very important criteria here you have the criteria i told you right when i have the gearbox and bearing you for which one you are giving the importance it's based on the number of transactions see sometimes current how and quantity the one which is having highest value means current how and quantity means you might be having 1000 items 1000 items multiplied by the unit cost of that particular item it becomes high value so what are the item which is having high value i will be giving the importance then you can select the your criteria on hand quantity similarly current how and value what is on hand value every item you will be having certain quantity that quantity multiplied by the cost of the item that becomes value the item which is having more value in the inventory more percentage of value in the inventory that will be treated as a class next to that b class next to that c class this is how we are going to transactional history historically i told you about bearing and gearbox so historically use is value so this is what for one year you might have replaced one gearbox for one year you might have replaced thousands of bearings so what is the worth of that the one which is having high worth that's it which is having the high importance for that when you take gearbox and bearing so i give the importance to bearing not to the gearbox this is how we have historical usage value historical usage quantity if you are giving importance to quantity let us say gearbox i used only once in a year that means only one quantity but thousands that thousand is more than one so in case you are giving the importance to number of quantities not to the values then even then bearing will be given as an importance you, you will be giving importance to import, importance to bearing when compared to gearbox this is how like historical usage quantity let me take current on hand value it is very simple to understand what is current on hand value it is simple item which is having certain quantity in the system that quantity multiplied by the unit cost gives some value if that value is highest that should come under a class that should come on top high value and gradually you will have the list of all the items which are having certain value in the inventory will be arranged in a sequence the one which is having high value should come first means what is it descending order or ascending order if you want to assign 
if you want to arrange 1 to 10 if you arrange from 1 to 10 what it is called it is called ascending order right if I take the in reverse 10 to 1 I arrange then it is descending order it is very simple it is common sense point and we in the childhood we learn we learned this what is ascending what is descending ascending means from low to high descending means from high to low simple so if you take current on hand value every item will be having a quantity in the inventory in the storeroom you have different items but all the items will be having certain quantities when you have certain quantities quantities multiplied by the unit cost is the value so if you arrange in the system i'm asking i'm requesting system to arrange the items based on the on hand value that's it it's very simple the one which is having high value comes first below to that next so like that we have the list of items which are having certain quantities quantities multiplied by the multiplied by the cost that gives the value that value based on the value you please arrange all the items in a sequence when i give the importance to current on hand value the one which is having the high value will come first means what is it it is is it descending or ascending it's descending so let us see what's happening current on hand value now cost type we have cost types frozen pending because whenever you use the standard costing it's very important we've discussed what is costing methods you know cost types we have average costing standard costing okay then first in first out last in first out so these are the concepts we will be discussing as a part of inventory it's very important cost types so before that like we are following this client is following standard costing you know standard costing means we will decide what is the cost of the item you decide once and fix it over periodically you will be updating after six months again i will update the cost of the items that's it during these six months i will not be updating it's fixed average means moving weighted average means it it is dynamic every day the changes the cost changes we will discuss what is average costing what is standard costing what is last in lifo or fifo what is lifo last in first out what is FIFO? First in, first out. So we will discuss what is the what are cost types, and it's very important to understand the cost types. Then, okay, I did. I entered all the fields. Over. Now let us compare. Let us take the name first. Take the name first to Notepad. I want to track this compile name then i am going to compile there is a compile button this is called button okay this is called button when you click compile button concurrent request has been submitted click okay when concurrent concurrent request has been submitted see listen carefully here print compile results this compile is going to print something it is trying to print something should i allow to print let us see yes let us see those print results so again second request has been submitted now let us see what's happening view request when our concurrent request is running you have to find out see two requests are running first request compile abc analysis second request abc descending value report now you might have observed now you know you might have understood i told you when i selected the criteria based on current on hand value now it is running automatically system is running the second report abc descending value report means the one which is having high value should come first gradually the value will be decreased so in the in the list high to high value to low value in, in a descending manner in, in descending order the system is going to arrange all the items which are existing in one particular sub inventory that you entered in the compile as WIPFIN. Right? Now let us see. Refresh. Completed. Now let us see the outputs. There is no output for this request. It is only concurrent request. But this is the report. You will have the output. View output. It will open the output. Tools. Copy file. It will open in the browser this is the one we have only two items 
because you have selected have you observed this is the compile name and criteria you have selected the current on hand value and you have selected one sub inventory do you remember so this sub inventory is having only two items that's it now go back to compile i want to open the compile this is the compile this time i don't want a sub inventory wise i want organization wise what's happening let us see okay sorry we we'll close first and reopen now we have this is the compile right we have already compiled when you compiled you got the results have you got it see this is today completed number of items two items only but total value is total quantity is this much total value is this much okay it is done already if you select org level what happens let us create okay new record compile name ba abc compile org level okay let us keep like this quickly you have to make a difference okay now org, org level org level then current on hand value current on hand value then i am going to compile concurrent request has been submitted you want to print the results yes now another request has been run now you request fine you requests fine two requests are running let us complete this two let us see the output of abc descending value report for org level and sub inventory level sub inventory level we have already two items i want more number of items so i will go for organization level definitely it will have more number of items so let us work on that completed report is running once it is completed we can see the output you have to remember what is the report that you will be depending on for doing for for classifying the items this is abc descending value report it is very important question most of the times you know people use it to forget this name you have to remember this name abc descending value report is the one which shows all the items arranged in a sequence based on the criteria that you selected in the compile that compile at organization level organization valuation then you have selected criteria as per current on hand value so that gives the now let us see the output copy file it will open in the browser now see how many items are there many see how many 3000 4000 i think 3000 188 188 not only 3000 it is i think 4 or 4000 i think yeah it is still fetching the data see 4000 end of the report now see 4627 items are there in which have you observed columns this is the sequence have you observed 1 2 then there is an item code description origin is it buy item or make item make item means it is manufactured item in the organization buy item means it is purchased item in the organization you are going to purchase from the supplier then compile quantity this is the quantity from the system approximate unit cost this is the cost from the system then compile value cost multiplied by the in cost multiplied by the quantity this is the one compile value this is cumulative value what is cumulative value we studied in 7th class this plus this is cumulative value this plus this plus this is this is the cumulative value this value is nothing but this plus this plus this plus this 
like that we have the cumulative values in the right hand side when you reach to the bottom of the bottom of the list you can see the total compile value is this much total compile value is this much this is equivalent to the cumulative value because 0 multiplied by 0 it is 0 and there is no cumulative value is as same as previous record finally you reach it to the same value but this is the quantity compile quantity some items are having zero quantity. It doesn't mean that report is showing zero. Quantity is zero. Compile value is also zero. Why unit cost you might be having something. Zero multiplied by the unit cost is nothing but compile value is zero. So that's it. Now. Got it? You have to understand this. This report is very important. What is the report that you depend for doing the ABC analysis? That is ABC descending value report. The purpose of this is to arrange all the items in a sequence based on some criteria. What is the criteria? That is nothing but you have selected, right? Criterion, you have selected here current on hand value. In organization level or sub inventory level, when you selected sub inventory, you have got only two items. Because sub inventory means specific, be specific. You are counting only one sub inventory. When I select organization, all the sub inventories will be considered. So we got all the items that is 4627 items have been considered for this report. Have you understood what is compile? This is what you do. Once you have done this compile, now let us take this compile name to the notepad. Okay, now close it. Now go to ABC classes. See, compile I did. Okay, let it be. Now we are going to create classes. How many classes do you want? A, B, C, or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. How many you want? You can up to. The name is indicating A, B, C analysis, but doesn't mean that only you should have A, B, C only. No. You can have D, E, F, G up to Z or more than that. You can give some names. Okay. So, ABC means it is the name given. By name, you can identify that it is meant for classifying the item. That's it. It doesn't mean that only A, B, C. So, you can have more than ABC. Now, ABC classes. How many? I have first class, second class, third class values. Somebody, so I have selected manual also, something, some indication, you know, I told you, right, you can have A class, B class, C class, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that also, you can give the ranking. It's up to you. Top value, middle values, medium value, it's not middle value, or you can call, somebody calls middle value or medium value, or low values, it's up to you. Now, I have to define, it's already there, no need to define. If you want to define fourth class, it's up to you. Okay. That's it. Save it. This is how you have to define. Nothing much. Then, we close this. We define the classes. You have to make sure classes are defined. Now, you go for ABC assignment group. Very important. In this ABC assignment group, I want to create my group. My group is the same thing. I will copy and paste it and then I will assign group. Okay. This is the group name I want to create. Here for this group, the group is, this is the group I want to. For this group, I have to assign the compile. What is the compile? I want to come, I want to assign this compile, not that one, because it is having only two items. It is having more number of items. So let me check whether it is there or not. When I sort by B, it is coming. I want this one, org level. So when it is sub-inventory level, it is showing only one sub-inventory. It is org level, it won't show you 
only one sub inventory it will show you all it will consider all sub inventories but all sub inventories can be cannot be shown in one field that's it i assign okay now for this group you assign this compile we are coming in a sequence first you define compile then you came to classes you define classes then you came to groups you define the group and for that group this group is depending on this compile okay then this compile means you are going to report that descending value report what is the report this is the report not this is this is not the report okay this report you are not considering okay so i want to close it so only this report we are going to consider now you want to save the record you want to save the record save i saved now observe very carefully this is the group name this is the compile name now what are the group classes should i consider should i consider for this group go to group classes it is blank i want to select class 1 class 2 it is coming from list of values here don't be confused here you can see what are the classes you define those classes only will be visible here okay i want to select 3 i want to select 4 also okay that's it only four classes i want to consider save it okay save it then for this classes i have to assign items right i don't know as we have the report which is showing all the items based on the value it has been arranged in a sequence descending value report has been shown we have the output and we have classes already defined first class second class third class fourth class then for those classes what are the items coming under each class we have to decide right so now go to assign items when i go to assign items already what are the classes you consider those classes are coming here but here it is asking all the fields to be entered it is asking white fields with white fields means optional we have to enter something otherwise there is no logic system cannot decide which item should be considered for a class or b class or c class or d class i have to consider how should i consider now let me go to report this report is having a sequence have you observed here that sequence representing this column only 1 2 3 4 up to 4627 out of 4000 6000 4627 up to what sequence you would call first class i would say first 1000 items up to 1000 items means what up to from this 1 to if you scroll down up to 1000 items up to 1000 items means what up to here up to this item up to this row i am going to decide first class means i selected sequence when i press tab observe carefully press tab what are the value you are getting here okay now i go to report observe carefully this 1000 okay see this compile value what is the compile value now this value matches see have you observed that means it's this report is very important because entire process is depending on this report see this is matching compile value because we have the compile group and group abc group and assign to compile and it is which is going to have a report that report is abc defend descending value report as per the report i selected sequence up to 1000 as a class means first class 
So this inventory value is matching with that. Out of four classes, first class I selected, now second class. From 1000 to 1001 to, okay, from 1001 to this item to next 1000, means 2000, up to 2000, up to 2000, up to this item, okay, up to this item. Remember this, okay. Now, up to 2000. See, this is also the same. Why we are getting same? Cost is zero. That was the reason. Okay. Now, up to 2000, from 1001 to 2000 B class. That is second class. Now, up to 3000, I take it as third class. Still the values are coming because zero, oh, sorry, same. Why? Because the report, it is showing cumulative value is same because the zero quantity is there. So zero quantity multiplied by the unit cost that becomes. Now, remaining, when you enter three values, the fourth one will be defaulted. Don't you know this? One plus two plus three plus four equal to how much? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equal to how much? 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. If I say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus A, some X value. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus X equal to 10. I know 1, I know 2, I know 3. What is X? 10 minus 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3. That is 10 minus 6 equal to 4. That means out of four values, if you enter three values, the fourth one will be calculated by the system automatically. When you enter this, it is asking, it is calculating the values. 21.61% is, is having A class, 43%, B class, 64%, and remaining altogether 100%. So this is how we are getting when you select all the sequences, save the record. Concurrent request has been submitted. View request and find out. Define ABC assignments. Is the request is running. Once it is completed, we will we'll proceed to next step. Done. Is there any output? Let us see. I think it's a concurrent request. Now, done. We have selected this group. I have copied the group. I have copied the compile name also. Then, assign items. Already I assign. From there, from there itself I assign. If you are not assigning from here, assign items if you are not assigning from here you can go to assign items also separately then you have to select your group name like this you have to find then you have to select you know up to sequence you have the way you did the same form will be coming here separately and after this if you want to update the items again whatever you assign if you want to update then enter the group name and find it and all the items query can potentially take long time because all the items to be queried right Yes, if you want to, it will show you all the items. See how it is coming. What is this item coming under A class? If you scroll down, you can see two class also, second class also, fourth, third class also, fourth class also. Okay, you have to scroll like this. Thousands, thousands of rows are thousands of rows because one to thousand A class. So it is coming already. Okay, if you want to see the second class items, simply F11, enter the second class, control F11, you can get it. All the second class, these are all second class items. Similarly, third class items, it will be there. 
if you want to update this item should not be third class okay delete it that's it over this is how you will update you got it you want to add something you can add also add new row and select the item what item you want to add to the th third class we can add it this is what update abc item assignments meant for clear close it i don't want to save it i already updated okay it's done abc compile what you have done arranged in arranged in a sequence based on the criteria we have selected current on a hand value as a criteria then you arranged all the items then you have selected groups and you decided and what item comes under which class you have decided now we will use this classification in abc sorry cycle counting so which class first class items to be counted 12 times second class items to be counted eight times third class item to be counted six times fourth class items to be counted three times or four times let us see now now moving to counting I have to create cycle counting. Go to cycle count. Okay, I have to create new. Now select BA cycle count. Okay. Now, see for cycle count, it is asking adjustment account. Have you observed what is the difference between? It is very important question. What is the difference between physical counting and cycle counting? Because physical counting, while passing the adjustments, it will ask the account number. Whereas cycle counting, while creating the cycle counting itself. It is asking what is the adjustment account, which account should be considered to pass the adjustments whenever you are increasing the items or decreasing the items. The net credit or debit should go to which account? I know one account. System knows the account, one account. What are the adjustment you are doing? Whether you are increasing the quantity or decreasing the quantity, you are affecting to inventory material account. When you are increasing, inventory material account is debited. When you are reducing the quantity, then it is credited. When inventory material account is having a credit, then debit should go to this particular account. You enter manually. So I am selecting the account. Combinations, then I am selecting. I am selecting this first one. Okay. That's it. Now, late days. I don't want to delay. No delays okay now display system quantity yes i want unscheduled entries yes i can manually if you want to do you can you have to enable okay if you don't enable then what i be unscheduled you can't do as per periodically each system will go that's it periodically it will let you unscheduled also even though you schedule for one week today i want to count you can count manually that is the importance of unscheduled entries you can do that is it for all sub or specific sub is very important. Okay. I want specific. Here I want to be specific. Okay. Or all also if you want. If you go for all, then all sub should be selected. Should be considered. So here, specific. When I specific, I want to select only one. WIPFIN. Or WIPFIN. Okay. F I N. This is the inventory. Okay. I want to be specific. And I want another sub inventory also. I want WIP also. These two I want to count. Okay. Now. Automatic recounts. I do not require automatic recounts. I don't require. If you want to select, you can one time automatic recounts. The same count if you want to recount again. Okay. One time. If you want to select, you can. Or you don't want you can disable also not a problem now go to serial lpn and schedule serial serial control items lpn lpn content container 
what is LPN license plate number I told you what are the different numbering methods we have lot control locator control and serial control then LPN control what is LPN license plate number it's nothing but container keep in mind somebody asks in the interview what is LPN license plate number what it means it is nothing but container simple okay for example we are not having any serial num serial control item let us say it's simple no need to bother about you know, no need to bother about these fields because it is controlling serial control items if you want to count serial control item one per request or multiple per request you have to select then adjustment if you want to pass adjust if possible discrepancy allowed or not allowed so these are the options available for serial control item simply if you want to select serial control items this logics will be applied what are the logic you select here let us for example we don't we won't take serial control item right now okay now auto schedule frequency is it daily weekly by period cyclic counting i want by period means i am going to count by weekly or monthly or quarterly or half yearly or yearly okay by period daily means every day it runs okay count zero quantity also yes i want as per system the quantity is zero does it mean that you are going to have the physical quantity also zero physically you might be having some quantities then how can you say that zero quantity is correct so let us count the zero quantities also as per system system the quantity is zero it doesn't mean that in the physical quantity also we should have the zero so let us be safe so count zero quantities as well if it is zero let me see zero in the system i will make sure the co same quantity zero quantity is there physically also in case physically i am having more than zero i am going to make this zero to a value and passing the adjustment to this account that's it okay next date by next date you know what is the next date you will get it you know when you run this when you schedule this next date means if you are running by by week okay this week you ran the uh, the schedule then next week next week what happens next week date will come here next date the system shows always whenever you open this cycle count by what date again it is running it will show you in advance means today's date and next week it is going to run next week date like around 25th will be shown here when you complete this when you save the record and when you schedule it okay now container option this is what lpn container of adjustments review all adjustments yes discrepancy do not allow or allow it's up to you if you want to allow discrepancy 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 means difference difference okay if you want to allow the differences yes you can allow okay if you don't want to allow you can select don't allow okay and then it's very important here adjustments and abc here we are going to link the abc analysis you did to the cycle count so it is very important whenever you are it is as same as physical counting see approval is required if it is out of tolerance then you have to enter the tolerance from n to plus or minus five it is out of tolerance if it is never then no need to have the approval always means you should have you should have the approval so i have selected always why because i want to see how it has to be approved here it is asking group name i know the group name right this is the group name right i copied already now reinitialize i want to initiate the cycle account so i have to update classes if you want delete unused items no i don't want to select anything i don't want update classes if you want to update classes yes you can select but how can you update classes you have to go to go to abc analysis and go for update and you can go to classes you can assign now let us see i have taken this cycle count name to the notepad now so let's save it i want to save it save it do you, do you want to save changes you made? Yes. Concurrent request has been submitted. Transaction records applied. 
what is the request is running let us see any slash cycle count items is there any output nothing it's a concurrent request now close it now what i did i created cycle count i assigned respect to abc analysis group then now let us close it and reopen because it might have got updated so f11 give the name control f11 open this is a cycle count okay status completed now if you go to classes i know what are the classes how how system knows only four classes because it is coming from abc group because abc group assigned to compile so there you have selected already we one to four only so we are getting only four now i want to update classes like this first class i want 12 times per year count count per year now second class i want eight times per year third class i want six times per year fourth class i want only four times means quarterly of quarterly ones okay now save it it's saved what is it 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 and miss analysis hit misses nothing but if you are meeting to the requirement means as per system the quantity is 100 and physically 100 so it is meeting miss means what as per system 100 quantity physically we have more than 100 or less than 100 that is called miss we are going to update for that okay now close this over you assign the classes right when you assign the classes if you go to items you can see what items are existing in the sub inventories because we have selected sub inventory right you have selected only wip and wip fin in abc sorry in cycle count of course abc analysis meant for organization level in which wip and wip fin sub inventories also have been considered right if you see here the items related to those sub inventors only will be come coming here okay because we are considering wip sub inventory and wip fin sub inventories okay all these items will be coming from abc analysis okay because you have selected abc group this is having already the link with abc compile and there we have selected organization level that means all the items will be considered but this cycle count meant for this particular sub inventory so those sub inventories are, are having some items and those items only will be considered right now for this cycle count okay now close this okay now how to initiate the cycle count basically we schedule right away in general in real time for this client what we do we have the schedule like this i will show you real time now let us come to real time cycle counting we will get a schedule like this there is a schedule cycle counting schedules yeah this is the file we prepared as per this file they are showing FLD means organization, NCD means organization codes like M1, M2, Sethal manufacturing like that. Okay, we are we are at W O O that is Ust. Okay, see this is what. So this is May 19th. Okay, any May 19th or May 18th? Yeah, see May 18th it has to be scheduled. What I do, you know, this is the sub inventory name. And this is the class B. Class B should be counted. Class B items should be counted on May 18th. Means yesterday I initiated that already. Now let us see. Let me let me take this. So, okay. Now I'll go to cycle counts. If you go to query all the countings, you can see somewhere mixing. 
okay you can see mixing see this is saying that mixing class b on 18 should be initiated mixing means what this is the mixing class but class b that means class 2 is b right so i'll go here then i'll open this then it has to be scheduled by may 18th i'll be doing this activity by 17th how i'll be scheduling simply i have entered all the fields that's it as i entered i told you right by next date is coming by default see 25th may next schedule is 25th may okay now how i will be initiating this is go to tools we do the perform full cycle count now let us do for our cycle count the the way i do in real time our our thing our cycle count name is ba that is coming first right yeah this is the one open this copy this name go to tools perform full cycle count it will open this concurrent request set this is called request set what is request set it is very important question request set is nothing but the name set means it is having some requests together forms one set request set is this is perform full cycle account this is one concurrent request this is one concurrent request this is another concurrent request three requests together which is forming one request set when I call this, automatically these reports will be selected. Now these reports should be entered with parameters. What cycle count? This is the cycle count. All cycle counts? No. Then we enter, we have to enter the our cycle count. Include control items? Yes. I want all items. Click OK. Now come to second parameters. OK. Now cycle count name. Select. All cycle counts? No next cycle count name by today now include recounts only no sub inventory no need to because already cycle count will will be taken care of those sub inventories you entered two sub inventories no need to enter okay okay no need to enter leave it display serial numbers yes if you want display on hand quantities yes i want to see on hand quantities as per the system items to include all yes now in real time what happens if i want to run this by tomorrow or next week i will schedule it how to schedule by periodically or by at once when it wants and we on which date should be run it is on 23rd 27th then you have to select click ok by time time also you can select six o'clock in the morning that's it when you schedule it it will run automatically that's it but now what i am doing is i am running right now so i will submit submit it then what happens it will run a request find perform full cycle count what it does let us see it will run remaining reports also see generate automatic schedules next report generate cycle count requests okay next cycle count listing this listing is very important report this listing your output okay now this no output okay leave it see when i did cycle count initiation what i did tools perform full cycle count here you have selected all cycle count no but i my cycle count is this once again i am showing include control items yes all the next parameter not the all the cycle counts i have only one cycle count i want to listings okay cycle count name this is the name i want to i want to see on end quantities also then i have selected yes click ok now if you drag it to right hand side save output see it is going to generate an output you want to save it then you have to select save otherwise it won't save okay now submit
see always if you want to now you did you initiate a cycle count right if you want to initiate once again simply you can select reinitialize okay it's already updated just now we run we ran two times okay now it will run the concurrent request okay now you can see the output see earlier it was not generating the output but now it has generated output why because save output you have selected that is very important question somebody asks i am running the cyclicon but i am not getting output why because yes you have selected save output as unchecked so you have to check it so this is what items this is the items locators tag numbers due date by today uncounted this report will be taken print and this paper will be taken to storeroom then still they start counting these items because as per the abc class analysis which items to be counted first abc class first class items so under this first class items so these three items are coming so system has decided to count first these items so take the print of this item storekeeper takes the print then go to inventory checks for this item what is the quantity he writes here count date by today counted by who is the person then what is the count quantity what is the quantity you have to enter that's it then after counting here this paper you are going to write it here right after writing here after seeing the physical quantity you are going to write here then this paper again you will bring back to your system then you will update the system quantity as per these results only now let us let us say i have taken this print i am the storekeeper i have taken the print and i i went to my store and i have selected this item and this item and this item the count is this is a 10000 quantity and this is a uh, 5000 quantity this is a 6000 quantity let us say okay now go to fine now directly we have done everything go to manual request means just now i initiated manually right twice that's what manual request manual request means you can initiate what is cycle count and for any item for any one particular item you can take and you can initiate okay i will show you manual request also now what are the cycle counts is it generated let us see if you want to see manual request i will show you this is cycle count name press tab find okay now what is the listing this is the listing this is the item take this item select the item which sub inventory in which sub inventory is it wip okay see it is coming only two have you remember why because cycle count meant for two only right you specified only two sub inventories keep in mind it's not showing all sub inventories that's it locator in which locator you have counted you have written in this in this okay which locator also you have counted so that locator this is fin count this is the locator is f okay fin is if it is fin then definitely it should be fin sub inventory is fin okay then it will come as fin sorry combinations click ok no entries clear cancel cancel clear combinations percentage okay fin okay now which lot i have selected which lot these are all lots okay i have selected one lot How much quantity i want to initiate for this item and similarly for second item for this item i will initiate same same okay this is not lot control so it's not coming okay next this is the item i want to count Mm -hmm. then what else
okay now save the record okay now close it what are the count you have entered in the cycle counting now go to cycle count entries select your cycle count my cycle count is this find it is asking find all open count requests yes yes see okay simple for this item you have to count means what as per this report okay for this item what is the count you entered here physically by seeing that much quantity you have to enter here let me say i entered as in the report i entered as i told you 5000 items okay save it when you saved you increase the quantity how much quantity as per the system there might be some quantity it will check this 5000 less than that quantity or more than this quantity it will check accordingly it will pass the adjustments if you are increasing that means inventory value account inventory material account is going to have a debit so negative will be going to here in case you are decreasing from 10,000 to 5,000, that means inventory value account has been decreased. Inventory material account will get a credit and this account will have a positive impact. That's it. Saved. Close it. Over. That's it. Now, whatever the entries you did, you should have a, an approval. You select your cycle account. Because you have selected approval is required always, right? Yes. Anything is approval pending, nothing is pending, so it's not coming anything. If it's anything, so we have to find. Carry counts approval only. No, I want all. You want to select. Yes, this is the one. 500, 5000 is the quantity. Okay, system quantity is zero. So you increased. So value adjustment is this much. This much might have gone to this account as a negative because inventory value has been increased. That's it. Okay. You want to approve it? Approve. Or recount. Recount you have selected, right, already. So it might be available for recount. That's it. Then, what else? This is what? That's it. Nothing much. Recount is enabled. So you can, after recounting, twice or thrice you have to do. Recount you have selected. And after that, count history will be seen here. One time you have counted, second time you have counted. You can see always count history. These are all histories. Count one. How many of your recounts allowed to? Then till you reach to two, then it will be available. So the quantities are this. This is the quantity you entered. This is the adjustment you are going to pass. That's it. Item details, every details will be here. What is the tag? What is the locator? anything count number who has counted and recount recount one is there again so we have to recount and then that's it that much and after that if you open your cycle account what is my cycle account this is the cycle account you can run the reports from tools okay anything so entries and adjustment report whatever it may be you can select what is the adjustment you pass it for fin or wip you can submit a request your request simply you can submit the request from the tools for that cycle count this is how we have to run the cycle count done you will get output so this is the count adjustment what adjustment you have passed 5000 right that is there that's it this is how the counting procedure will be done so it might be confusing somewhat no need to bother so i will repeat once again tomorrow quickly